Hello, Wife Free Willow. I hope you're doing all well at the moment. So uh, we are doing some reading today. Um, what we'll do with the reading and curriculum, we'll switch over every other day. So one day we'll do um, some curriculum and then the next day we'll do a bit of reading and we'll switch it over like that. OK, so that, that's basically so we don't fall behind um, too far behind the other class for our Hodge Hegg reading. So um, we are going to read chapter one and section one. I know we already did this on Monday, but I just want to catch up with it as well, just to make sure that we haven't forgotten about it. So we've got some words to clarify. So straddle, straddle. Well done. So straddle basically means when there's something in the middle of the road, the wheels of the car will be able to go um, over it, making sure that the thing in the road is in the middle of it. OK, we've got this word here, blind pa panic. Can you have a go at saying that? Excellent. So blind planet panic means when they're really scared. They're so scared that they don't see what they're doing. OK, they just run, so, run away so quickly and they're not even looking where they're going. Our next word, deafening. You say that? Good. So well, well done. Deafening means um, that it's so loud that you can't hear it. It's so, so loud that it's, you know, it hurts your ears so much. And our last one, pedestrian, your turn. Well done if you manage to say pedestrian. So a pedestrian is someone who's walking on the uh, walking on the side of the road, okay? They're basically not in a car and not on a bike, okay? They are just walking on the side of the road. So what I would like you to do, I would like you to have a read of this page for me, okay? So make sure that you pause this, okay? Have a read of this, okay? If you need to read it out loud to an adult, if you can, and once you finish reading that page, unpause me and then we can carry on with the rest of it. So quick pause. OK, so well done if you managed to read all of that. OK, we're now going to go on the next page for a bit of clarification. So we've got these words. We've got cyclist. Can you say cyclist? Good. Well done. A cyclist is somebody who's on a bike. OK, they're on a bicycle. Uh, next word that we have is curb. Can you say curb? Well done. So curb is basically the bit at the side of the road and it like separates the road from the pavement. OK, next word, feverishly. Your turn. Feverishly. Good. Well done if you managed to say that. So feverishly is an action that you do quickly without thought. You do it, you do something really quickly without a second thought, you just do it quickly, okay? And the last one is catapulted, your turn. Catapulted, your turn. Well done, a catapult basically, what they would do, they would draw, they had a big, big, big machine and what they would do, they would draw back something make it sure it's really tight and then they would let it go and it would catapult something to the other side. Basically, it's being thrown to the other side. OK, so I'm going to let you have a read of this next section. It's quite a short one, actually. So again, have a quick pause. And uh, when you finish reading that, we'll go through this all again. OK, so. Well done if you managed to do that. I'm going to do a bit quick reading for you for the six, this section as well. OK, so chapter three. By now, it was quite late. The rush hour was over. The shops were shut. All was quiet. I'll wait, thought Max. And then when a car or lorry comes along, I'll cross in front of it. Soon he saw something coming. It was a lorry. He was halfway across when suddenly he realised that the lorry hadn't slowed at all and was almost on top of him, blinding him with his brilliant lights, deafening with his thunderous roar. It was not going to stop. Lorries only stop for people, not hedgehogs. The lorry driver, who until was almost upon the crossing, had been quite unaware of the tiny pedestrian. Remember, pedestrian means walker, OK? did the only thing possible. With no time to break, he swerved, and so he, uh, he steered so as to straddle the little animal. So what he's done, he swerved his, his wheel so he can avoid Max 
who is in the middle of the road and make sure that he doesn't run him over, basically. Looking back at, in his wing mirror, he saw that he, it was continuing on its, uh, on its way unhurt, and he grinned and drove off in, into the night, okay? So the wing mirror of a car or a lorry are the little uh, side bits of the car and you can look behind you, okay? They're like the, the little mirrors, mirrors on the side of the car. And grin means to smile, okay? The sheer horror of the great monster passing above when, when it's huge me wheels on either side of him threw Max into the blind panic and he made for the end of of the crossing as fast as his legs would carry him. He did not see, he did not see the cyclist silently pedaling along across to the curb and the cyclist did not see him until the last moment. Feverishly, the man twisted to remember he's done it quickly without any thought. Feverishly, the man twisted his handlebars and the front of the wheel of the bicycle suddenly wrenched round, caught Max, caught Max on the rump and catapulted him head first into uh, head, uh, head first into the face of a curbstone. So basically, the rump is basically the bottom of a hedgehog, okay? So the bit that goes round, okay? So the bikes hit him and catapulted him, it's thrown him to the face of the curbstone. So he's hit this part of the curbstone. So oh, I must have really, really, really hurt poor Max. Because remember, Max is a little hedgehog, isn't he? So he's been, he's had a bit of a disaster, really. So he's tried, tried to cross the, across the Pelican Crossing. And as he's tried to cross, thinking, oh, I'll be fine crossing this road because this is where humans cross, a lorry, which of course isn't going to see a little hedgehog in the middle of the road, has like gone over him. And Max is obviously been very scared and he's ran across to the end of the crossing. And, but while this is happening, there's someone on a bike who also hasn't seen him and has hit him. And then that means that um, Max has been catapulted into this curbstone, so he's had a bit of a rubbish time at the moment. Poor, poor little Max, the hedgehog. So we've got our questions to answer. Okay. So I know this is a little bit different from how we normally do it because normally we do a bit of clarifying and then we normally do a bit of speed reading, things like that. But obviously, there's it's a bit harder to do that when we haven't when you haven't got the books at home. So we're going to just have a go at doing the questions. Okay. So, we've got on page 17, why do you think the lorry did not stop for Max? So we had a bit of a quick chat about this, didn't we? So, this is when you need to use your sentence starters. I think the lorry did not stop for Max because, okay, so have a thing. If you need to go back and have a read again, do so and have a quick answer at this, okay? Make sure any piece of paper that you have at home, have a go, okay? We'll come back to this later. So. Our next question, we've got on page 17, how does it describe how Max feels about the event? Okay, so we've got the phrase it uses to describe how Max feels about the event is. Okay, so again, have a go at it. If you need to go back, have a, have a look back, okay? Have a look back, pause it, see if you can find the word, okay? And then number three, in your own words, can you summarize what has happened to Max at the end of the section? So summarize basically means in your own words. I don't want you to copy what's on the text, okay? In your own words, can you describe or can you tell me what's happened to Max, okay? So again, make sure that you send any work to me, okay, at y3willow at Australia byronwood.org okay do it have a go even if you're not quite sure do have a go because i want to see your work and make sure that you're getting it okay okay make sure you're understanding it and you know what you're doing with it again have a look back at the, the piece of the text okay so from page 16 and 17 and if you need to look at the end of the text to see what's happening here do so okay so have a go send me any work that you have and hopefully I'll be able to see some of your fantastic work being sent through today, uh, soon. Uh, so that's it for me today. And hopefully I'll be able to see, uh, hear from you soon. So bye now.